Joe Burr, both guys play different sports. Jack Cohn could be the next one to be a multi-sport athlete. All right, so Marcus Brady, head coach of the West team from the Colts. And look at Ty Chandler. Ty Chandler from UNC to get things rolling here for your Tar Heel Buck. Absolutely. This is what he's done all week. One thing about Ty Chandler, he does a great job of running inside and outside. There you see him start inside, bounces outside. You see. And so because of the Colts influence with 12 personnel and two tight ends, you're going to see a lot of that tonight here for this West team. Here's Jack Cohen all day. Great protection. Fires over the middle. That's number 81. Let's check out Cohen's poise in the pocket here, Buck. Look, man, you have to like his eyes. Look at his vision. He works one side, comes back to the third, fourth read to protect the progression. And then Tay Martin has been killing defensive backs all week with his route running ability. This is a good throw and catch. And we get a little early RPO there. Uh oh ball out, ball out. Jelani Woods looked like he was on the grab there. Ball came out. Let's see. So big connection there. Jack Cohn to everybody's favorite tight end this week, Jelani Woods out of UVA, Buck. Man, Jelani Woods looks like you want him to. He's a prototype. Big, long, has the ability to really expand the strike zone for the quarterback. There we see a little RPO fake. Jack Cohn hits Woods on a little slant behind the ear of the called Woods, a guy kind of like Mo Ali Cox, similar body frame, raw, loves football, and they're going to get him the ball a lot tonight. There's Ty Chandler on the team. Showed in that Wake Forest game, four touchdowns, and that upset over Wake. Here comes Jack Cohn, finding Jelani Woods once again, short completion, a couple yards shy of the first down there. Yeah, I like this little bootleg action. And right away, the guys that we talked about all we can practice right they're they've gotten up. the ball. They've shown up. Ty Chandler has a couple of runs, Jelani Woods. In receptions and receiving yards. There's Jack Cohn, got another completion. That's Tay Martin. Tay Martin making one miss. The pass catching tight end in his last season at UVA. Thank you very much, Cynthia. There's Jack Cohn trying to get it to Ty Chandler. Much, you know, the terminology can be a problem. Wasn't for Cohn all week. Handoff here goes to Ty Chandler, and he's going to get brought down after a game. Little play action for Cohn. He's on the move. He's got it to Stanley Barry Hill. Barry Hill. DBs have to be able to tackle and tackle well. One on one tackle. This is a great job. Right at the end zone. Good thump. Effort, energy, physicality. Those things we love to see from our defensive backs. That is a great exhibition right there. Wanye Thomas, 6 3. And they're going to give it this time to Ty Chandler. He is met almost immediately in the back tackle from Kentucky. Great. East defense bent, but they didn't break. And we'll see the East team off it. Absolutely. First of all, they've been here for a week on a job interview, and they've really worked hard. We had over 650 NFL scouts here for the week. But for our purpose, it's more than just a game. It's where they get to. Now for Jack Cohn, second possession for the Notre Dame quarterback here leading this West team offense. Here's Cohn. Oh, terrific diving oh, grab. Man. Yeah, he really can make plays. And when you watched him all week, outstanding route runner. We've oh, seen this. Oh, they're not giving it to him. Oh, man. I, oh, I thought that oh, was a that, grab. That Look at like him. a grab. Extension. All right. Uh, hit the floor. Okay, okay. Fine. Instant replay got him. <laughs> but it still doesn't take away from his ability to have a great week. He's been an outstanding route runner. Consistently his guy. As a Baylor wideout. All right, so third and long now for Jack Cohn. Great protection all night from oh, this nice. West Team offensive line, and it's Tay Martin once again. He's been one of the go-to guys here early on from Oklahoma State, coming up with the first down. Let's go take the snap. He's going to have plenty of protection. Fortress, and then this is a nice job, fitting that ball into a tight window. Three defenders closing in on Tay first Martin. Foul. He squeezes it in. Number five, defense. 15-yard penalty from the end of the run. Automatic first down. That's Big Cat Bryant on that East Team defense gets called for the personal foul. West Team doesn't need any help here, Bucky. The way they've been moving the football, they'll get an extra 15. He's super consistent, especially been facing zone defense. Love the analytics angle here. Cynthia bringing to us all night. Contribute. Second and eight now for Jack Cohn here. Once again in the gun. And he's going to give it again to Corbin. But that's number 51, Ali Fight. Diagnosing the play very, very quickly. You want to see your guys play fast. Here we're going to see him come off the edge. Good. Man, great hands. Just makes a play. That's just winning on the edge. Good job, I forgot. This guy who's led his team in sacks and tackles for loss in four straight seasons. Opportunity here for Jack Cohn. 
Stepping up in the pocket, and he's got the wideout chair of Stearns. Three big hits already today. Here we see a little zone coverage, break and drive. I mean, that is a fundamentally. First and 10 now inside the red zone here for Jack Cohn. Man. Got it complete once again, and that's a school record holder for receptions in a career with 229. I'm not going to call him amazing. I'm going to call him a heartbreaker because he broke my heart. NC State, last game of the year against North Carolina, called two big passes, two-minute drill to kind of yeah. steal a victory. So, uh, is that what steal we're, a victory. we're calling it? Stealing a victory. Yeah, steal a victory. Okay. Yeah. Stole my joy that night. His last two college... All right, here we go. Jack Cohn, first and goal inside the five. Going to take it to the end zone. That ball will fall. I come back. They need to be able to run the football. they got to create a new line of scrimmage. I would just say stay away from Wanye Thomas as Jason <laughs> Corbin gets the call and the handoff from Jack Cohn. It's a back out of Boston College in on the stop. Let's check the push here from Marquand McCall. He's been inside uh, the backfield down here. He's been inside the backfield, but part of that is because he's... Jelani Woods in there, number 89. Uh-oh, ball. Uh, fumbled snap there, but Cohn's got it. Calmly going to throw that one away. Up in seconds there because of the bad snap here. That's Dawson Deaton in the center. Just didn't get that one quite off the ground. Uh, yeah, but you know, that's the reaction of McCall being able to jump the snap. He's gotten off the ball so quickly that the center's trying to adjust. <laughs> Low snap happens as a result. Red, we've seen seven plays inside the five yards. There for the West team. Finally gets into the end zone as Quatoriano had six touchdowns in his career. All right, Jack Cohn in the gun here, trying to make it an 8-0 West team lead. He's going to hand it off to Jay Sean Corbin. 8-0.